Hi, this is Jamie from Tree Savers. We're gonna give you a quick rundown on how to release your beetles today. So we've already selected an infested hemlock tree with hemlock woolly adelgid. Um, as you can see, this year is a very high year um, for hemlock woolly adelgid. So all I needed was a site with a high infestation and some accessible branches. So here's my container of beetles. This is one colony and I have my clothespin. I put it on my shirt so I don't lose it. Now, to get the beetles out of the rim, we've got to tap this down on a surface first. So I can use my hand this time and make sure all the beetles dislodge from the lid. Then peel back the lid gently. Toss that for right now. And all of the material inside, we're gonna to wanna to take out. Now, we most of us only have two hands. So you're gonna to wanna to set this down keeping it like this so that the beetles will automatically go up. They won't fall out the bottom so long as they're alive. So I'm just gonna set this on the ground and then I'm gonna take my clothespin, the sponge and the excelsior. I'm gonna find two branches as close as I can to sort of tweeze this material in between two branches that are infested. And then I'm gonna do my very best to gently clip this clothespin right around the sponge and excelsior and i'm going to let the video come around here so she can see and then you can take your remaining beetles that are still in the container and gently flick them onto the tree and some will probably fall on the ground it's okay they're lady beetles and they do fly all they want is that food so it will not take them long to find their way back to the foliage and as you can see, there's some that are gonna be hiding in the holes, but they will come out, especially as the sun is you know, out, they're gonna be transferring very quickly. Approximately one to two hours before you try to remove any material.